Welcome, myth enthusiasts, to a journey through the captivating world of Greek mythology. In this video, we'll unravel the top four astonishing facts about Greek mythology that will leave you spellbound. From powerful gods to fearless heroes, these stories have shaped the course of history and continue to captivate our imagination. Prepare to be transported to an era where gods and mortals coexist. The Tale of Atlantis, a once thriving island civilization that mysteriously vanished beneath the waves, stands as one of the most enduring enigmas of human history. For generations, this enigmatic story has both captivated and confounded us, sparking debate, curiosity, and a relentless quest for answers. As we journey into the heart of this legend, we are faced with a narrative that blurs the lines between reality and myth, leaving us with a compelling mystery that remains unsolved to this day. The legend of Atlantis, as recounted by the great philosopher Plato, unfolds in a time and place long past. According to his writings, Atlantis was an island of immense wealth and power, possessing advanced knowledge and technology far beyond that of its contemporaries. It was a utopia, a beacon of civilization that, like a mirage, has both beckoned and eluded explorers, archaeologists, and historians for centuries. The intrigue surrounding Atlantis is twofold. On one hand, some believe that Atlantis could indeed have been inspired by a real ancient city or civilization, perhaps lost to the annals of time. These believers argue that such a civilization could have been advanced, even more so than the known ancient societies of the time, and that a cataclysmic event, perhaps a tsunami or volcanic eruption, led to its submergence. Their quest for Atlantis centers on sifting through historical records and geological data, searching for clues hidden in the depths of the Earth's crust. The legend of Atlantis is not just a tale of an island lost to the sea. It's a story of human imagination, ambition, and the eternal quest for knowledge. It invites us to ponder the boundaries of reality and myth, reminding us that even in an age of advanced technology and scientific understanding, some mysteries endure. The story of Oedipus and the Sphinx is a timeless and enigmatic tale that has fascinated scholars, philosophers, and storytellers for centuries. Oedipus, the celebrated king of Thebes, embarks on a journey that takes him to the crossroads of destiny, where he encounters the enigmatic Sphinx, a creature of mythical proportions. With the body of a lion and the head of a human, the Sphinx embodied the intersection of two worlds, just as the riddle it posed to Oedipus bridged the realms of wisdom and fate. As Oedipus stood before the Sphinx, the creature challenged him with a riddle that has echoed through the corridors of time. What walks on four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening? The enigmatic question was a test of not just Oedipus's intellectual prowess, but his very understanding of the human condition. The riddle's answer, man, spoke to the ever-changing nature of humanity as it progresses through life's stages. In the morning of life, we crawl on all fours as infants. In the afternoon, we stand on two legs as adults. And in the evening, we use a cane to support our aging bodies. It's a riddle that delves deep into the very essence of human existence, mortality, and the inexorable passage of time. Through the ages, experts and thinkers have grappled with the symbolism and significance of the Sphinx's riddle. It serves as a metaphor for the human condition. It is a testament to the power of storytelling, for even in the most ancient of tales, we discover the profound and timeless essence of the human experience. Pandora's Tale, a timeless parable about the peril of curiosity, weaves a narrative that continues to resonate across cultures and generations. In the ancient mythological world, Pandora was the first human woman, a creation of the gods, each of whom bestowed upon her a unique gift, or curse, if you will. But it was the curious streak that Prometheus had cleverly instilled in her that would ultimately lead to one of the most enigmatic and thought-provoking stories in Greek mythology. It was this very curiosity that compelled Pandora to explore the forbidden, a mysterious box, or perhaps, as some scholars suggest, a jar. This container, entrusted to her by the gods, was meant to remain sealed, safeguarding its dark contents from the eyes and hands of mortals. However, human nature and inquisitiveness prevailed, 
as Pandora's curiosity got the better of her. The moment she lifted the lid of the box, pandemonium ensued. From within the confines of this once-sealed vessel spilled forth a torrent of malevolent forces, each representing a different form of human suffering and hardship. Disease, envy, greed, and every manner of torment were set free upon the world, leaving humanity to wrestle with the darker facets of existence. The nature of Pandora's box, or jar, has been a subject of fascination and debate for centuries. Some believe that it represents the human psyche, a vessel containing the complex and contradictory elements of human nature, both the light and the shadow. Others consider it a metaphor for the world itself, a place where evil and suffering coexist with hope and the human capacity for transformation. In the story of Pandora, we find an enduring reflection of our own inquisitiveness, as well as our ability to persevere and find hope in the midst of life's most challenging trials. Like Pandora, we grapple with the mysteries of the universe, confronting both the darkness and the light that define our human experience. The Minotaur, a monstrous creature with the head of a bull and the body of a man, has long been a source of fascination and dread in the annals of Greek mythology. Its abode, the labyrinth of King Minos in the ancient city of Knossos, was a complex maze designed to confound and imprison those who dared enter. However, it is the origin of the Minotaur that remains one of the most perplexing and intriguing aspects of this myth, offering multiple interpretations and leaving us with an enduring enigma. One prevailing theory suggests that the Minotaur's existence was a result of a divine curse, a punishment inflicted by the gods to penalize King Minos of Crete. It all began with a majestic white bull sent by Poseidon, the god of the sea, as a symbol of favor to Minos. However, Minos failed to fulfill his promise to sacrifice the bull to Poseidon. This act of hubris did not go unnoticed by the gods, and as retribution, Poseidon cast a spell upon Minos's wife, Queen Pasiphae. Under the spell's influence, she developed an unnatural desire for the bull, and with the help of the skilled craftsman Daedalus, she conceived a plan to mate with the bull. This unholy union led to the birth of the Minotaur. Beyond these interpretations, the Minotaur's origin continues to be a subject of speculation. Some believe it represents the primal, beastly nature that dwells within all humans, lurking beneath the veneer of civilization. It becomes a metaphor for our inner struggles, the monsters we may become if our darker impulses are left unchecked. The Minotaur's labyrinthine existence serves as a reminder that sometimes the most profound mysteries lie not in the twists and turns of a physical maze, but in the labyrinth of the human soul and the enigmatic myths that continue to captivate our imagination. And there you have it, folks, some of the most fascinating and awe-inspiring Greek mythology facts. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the ancient world of gods, heroes, and epic adventures. Subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.